Hello, my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Thank you guys for joining us. So this is going to be basically about what's going on quake-wise. As we see, we still have a ton of quakes up around Tanapa in Nevada. And in fact, the area that we're looking at over here, which includes Mono Lake area, as well as Long Valley Caldera, Mammoth Lakes, you got 379 out of 746 quakes being reported by the USGS in 24 hours. Um, it's been really interesting to watch this. And now we see the energy uh, transferring, perhaps, westward towards Mammoth Lakes. As we see, when we're looking at Mammoth Lakes itself, right now there's a swarm going on there. Now, they are small, granted, uh, but still, it, it's just, it's very, very, very curious. And this energy really hasn't gone down because we're, we're creeping up close to 400 quakes in the area. So it's actually consistently been going up, you know, and yesterday we had that 5.1 that got upgraded to 5.3. So very, very interesting, most definitely. And thank you guys for your patience as I'm doing this on my laptop with my phone with the generator going so we can have uh, some internet service and so I, I thank you guys for your patience because I know the quality might not be quite the same and sometimes people will get upset if the sounds off or if there's a noise in the background the other thing too is you know looking at these quakes all around the uh, the base as well and as far as south as is down here, which is 63 kilometers north northeast of Pahrump. Now that most likely is some bombing missions. You know, the military is definitely active. Here you see a 1.4, 36 kilometers northwest of Beatty. So the energy has been moving southward and also westward. And as we see, you know, Ridgecrest is busy. Uh, there's quite a bit going on there as well. And when we look farther down, we see quakes. And again, see this line right here? Well, this is what we were talking about with Walker Lane. And Walker Lane, uh, well, some people think that it won't be necessarily the San Andreas breaking off and LA rushing past San Francisco. Some think that it, this is where the crack's going to go, right through here, right through the Salton Sea area. And basically, the Baja, uh, well, the Baja area is going to continue to split. Because at one point, Baja California was part of the mainland, it was attached to the mainland. And so, you know, perhaps the Gulf of California will become much, much larger. You know, it's one of those things where the scientists will tell you that's just millions of years in the future. But is it? You know, is it? Is it really? And so we see the quakes right along the line here. And then we had one down here that's pretty good size, 6.1 right at the tip here and they're showing 10 kilometers depth which is 6.2 miles so 100 no 17.3 kilometers east southeast of san jose del cabo in mexico a 6.1 so so curious what's going on right now in the west with these quakes and as we can see we still have quakes going on up in idaho and we still have them going on throughout Utah as well. You know, it, it's just, hmm, we're going to have to really watch this one, everybody that's on the West Coast. So, you know, Long Valley Caldera, well, you know, that's a super volcano that is right there. And the Bishop Tuff eruption, which was a super eruption, happened 760,000 years ago. And you basically had ash all the way coming down all the way to uh, Nebraska 
So this is a big one. It's, it's not Yellowstone, but it is nothing to sneeze at any way, shape, or form. You know, this, if this goes, we would also have massive cooling, as well as obviously anybody in the immediate area would have to be evacuated. You know, not to say that this would go again, but, you know, it's active. It's listed as active. So it's something we really, really, uh, you know, have to watch. Everybody that's in this general vicinity, anybody on the west coast of the U.S. And if it did go, it it would affect all of us because this would definitely drive uh, that next ice age. And when you see this, scientists have monitored geologic unrest in the Long Valley, California area since 1980. And that year, following a swarm of strong earthquakes, they discovered that the central part of Long Valley Caldera had begun actively rising. This is going back to 1980. Unrest in the area persists today. The USGS continues to provide public and civil authorities with current information on the volcano hazards at Long Valley. And is prepared to give timely warnings of any impending eruption. Let us hope so. As you see this photo over here, Long Valley Caldera in Eastern California. And this is viewed from the Southwest Rim towards the Northeast Rim on the horizon 18 miles away. So it was formed about 760,000 years ago in a violent volcanic eruption that blew out 150 cubic miles of magma from beneath the Earth's surface. USGS scientists are tracking continuing dome-like swelling centered in the low forested hills in the middle of the caldera. This swelling affects more than 100 square miles, and it's caused by magma rising beneath the Earth's surface. So, you know, it's most definitely something to watch. When we think about Yellowstone, we know that the plume, well, the crust, the Earth's crust has moved. So the plume has been moving uh, towards the northeast. And so when we look at Long Valley Caldera, if the crust is moving in the same situation, the same way, when we compare Yellowstone to Long Valley, you know, what's to the northeast of Long Valley Caldera? Well, it's, it's actually where the Tanapa uh, quakes are. So is that just a curious coincidence? Or is there something going on under there? Uh, is there perhaps, you know, a new eruption building? And, you know, just look at this area. That's the caldera. And if we zoom in, and it's not the fastest connection, so thank you guys for your patience again. Yeah, you can see this this is the caldera right here. And here you have where the quakes are. But you have now activity over here as well. And granted, these are small. These are all very, very small quakes. Uh, there are still some decent sized ones coming out and as we said yesterday we have 5.3 so it's very interesting you know we had the ridge quake ridge crest quake down here and this is the garlock fault which is active it's pushing westward over here and meanwhile you have these other pressures going what's going to win out what's going to happen hmm, anybody's guess and we see what is located right in the caldera is Casa Diablo Hot Springs and Geothermal Facility right there inside the caldera. So pretty interesting that we got this big 6.1 there off the coast of Baja because that's pretty good size for that area. And, you know, this is the San Andreas and the action there. And this is the Garlock that intersects in with the San Andreas. And again, we talked about Joe Brandt's vision of the Garlock causing the big one in San Andreas. And, uh, you know, parts of California being basically gone, gone. And this is, again, Walker Lane. It cuts straight up here, right through basically the whole area we're talking about. You see it cutting right through 
where's Mono Lake? It cuts right through the area where Tonopah is having the quakes. So, is something big about to happen? Kind of feels like it, but time will tell. Time will tell, my friends. So, as always, thank you for your support on Ko-Fi and Patreon, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed to both channels. God bless. Stay safe. Stay prepared. Namaste.